Yo, what is up, Crocs and clan members and others who have stumbled upon this video? I'm Source of Crocs and bringing you guys Pokemon Origins English Dub Episode 3 Review. I just watched it. I did find out that it was up up a couple days ago. So I decided to watch them today. So I'm watching Episode 3, reviewing it, watching Episode 4 after it, and then reviewing it. So you get two episodes today. Um, so following the pattern of the first and second episode reviews that I did, so it's basically going to be a comparison of the first of the original Japanese sub and the English sub, and then you know obviously there's going to be a little bit differences because I'm actually watching the whole thing, unlike the sub version where I was like half watching the story and then the, reading the subtitles. But anyways, so episode three was the Team Rocket at Silk Skill Company match. And then the eighth gym battle against Giovanni. So, right off the bat, Giovanni's voice was actually good. I was actually surprised. It was actually really good. I liked that there was a uh, the, there was a hint of cockiness when he was talking. You know, and this sense of you know being above Red. Uh, you know, I actually had a little bit of fear that they weren't gonna put that in in, in the English. You know, ha have that sense of I am better than you because I am, you know, just, I'm superior to you. So I'm glad that they they had that right there. Uh, of course, I, I told this joke to a friend of mine when I watched the sub version, though. Rasengan surfs that freaking Needle, King, Needle Queen does, which is totally... Like, I still call that, like, the weirdest thing ever. Just, just literally, surf looks like a freaking Rasengan from Nora, so... Um... So that that scene was cool, you know. Uh, the whole, uh, the red pushing blue, like you, what do you think you're doing? I like, I like, that was that was cool, um, because you know they, they she had he had to take the the secretary to get the police at Celadon City. So I, I like that that happened. Um, the whole explaining uh, stuff, you know, because you, you know they, they I. I felt like this show, this, this, the origins was cut too short, uh, because I would have loved to see the battle versus Blaine, straight up, you know, that, that would have been cool, and the battle with Sabrina would have been cool too, uh, but of course it didn't happen, but anyways, uh, and then the Giovanni fight, freaking cool, as always, um, the catchphrase, smelly later, is still there, that's something that I, I kind of missed in the sub version, you know, that, you know, was there, but, uh, I've been noticing it more, you know, it's actually following the game stuff, you know, he always used to say it, smell you later, every time he's being a douchebag, the blue, being a douchebag, you know, doing that, smell you later, um, the battle was still cool, I liked it, um, here's the thing, like, I, of course, like I said, I notice more stuff when I'm watching the dub version than the sub version, the Hitmon Lee versus Bryhorn match, I, right now, like, I, I call, it was total bullshit, because, we all know, Rhyhorn's a half-rock type, so Hitmon Lee's rolling kick should have at least taken, uh, I mean, unless it's, like, really low in, in level, it should have taken at least half of Rhyhorn's HP, and, and as soon as he used the high jump kick, Rhyhorn should have been out, like, I don't really care what's going on, that high jump kick hit, which meant that it should have taken all his life. Just just knocked it out right there. Simple as that. So, I noticed, like I said, I'm noticing a lot more in the English stuff. So, I noticed that in this version, and since I was actually following it, I could actually understand what he was saying. Yeah. Right horn should have been knocked out straight up, and then it would have been him only versus right on, and then Charizard versus right on. Because there was just no way that right horn could have lived through a rolling kick followed by a high jump kick. There's just no way. It, it's impossible. I'm sorry. It just is. Um, and then the Charizard, the, the, the ride on, the, the whole, or not ride on, the whole Giovanni, like talking about how he's ex he, he feels this excitement when he's battling Red. And like, what is he thinking? Like, and then he goes, you know, the whole, I'm, I'm disappointed in you, man. And he starts, why the heck am I disappointed in him? What what is this feeling that I have inside of me? You know, it's it's better to listen. I, I'm actually understanding what they're saying, so it's better for me because like I could just 
I, I'm in the spot right now, so, you know, it was really crazy, though, so, the, the, the whole stance, you know, how Red just puts out Charizard's Pokemon and swings back and then goes, go, Charizard, and he's like, what is this, that stance, I remember it, I used to do the same thing, and I noticed this also, like, the whole, that fact that Giovanni had a Charmander, like Red does, you know, Where's that Charizard, huh? Where's your Charizard, Giovanni? Wouldn't that have been an epic match? I don't know. But see, stuff like that, stuff that you sort of miss because you're watching a subversion. I don't like to go back and forth. That just annoys me. So, anyways, noticing that stuff, the fight between Rhydon and Charizard, the whole seismic toss thing at the end was still badass. I, I mean, I don't even know. Also, a quick question. I mean, I know Mega Punch is supposed, you know, it, it was a strong attack back in the day. But a Rock type taking that much damage from a Mega Punch didn't even make sense. I don't know. That's just, I mean, unless Charizard was, like, at least higher than Rhydon or something. I don't know. But, yeah, so, pretty, pretty crazy. I, I loved it. Uh, I'm really excited, I'm watching, I'm gonna watch episode 4 right now, so if you're watching this right now, I'm probably finishing episode 4 and watch, or er, recording episode, or, er, yeah, and recording a review afterwards, so, that's it for this review, I'm really liking the dub, I, I, I gotta say, I prefer the dub over the sub right now, I mean, I'm enjoying it a lot more because I can actually watch what's going on, and I understand everything that they're saying, so, props to that, like, Pokemon Origins and Dub, I'm sorry, sub, I still loved you, but the Dub is better, I'm sorry to say that, so, that, at least, you know, for me, you know, it doesn't have to be the best for anybody else, but for me, I prefer the Dub, so, that's it for episode 3 review, I will, I'm gonna watch, I'm watching currently episode 4, so, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys later, like, not that long from now, but thank you, and I'll see you guys later.